hi guys how are you all doing today I hope you're all having yourselves a wonderful day uh, this channel is dedicated to providing you with information about the Gambia so if you are thinking of moving to the Gambia you have come to the right place so please subscribe for new videos that I will be uploading on a regular guys day. today I'll be bringing you news about the upcoming election in the Gambia Election in most third world countries tend to bring with it high tensions and sometimes violence. I'm hoping that this year's election will, you know, go peacefully and that the right candidate will be elected in order to raise Gambia to the height that it has the potential to reach in a positive and uplifting way for the people of the Gambia. As some of us know, uh, Gambia is one of those African countries that hold the belief in most quarters that a woman should be seen and not heard and that they should take their places in society obeying their husbands. Now, today it's great news that Gambia has registered its first female candidate for the upcoming election on December 4th. 2021. The name of this person is Marie Sock. She appeared at the election house in the company of two others, hoping to become the country's first female president. Wouldn't that be great? The nomination started Saturday with the submission of papers by Joseph Henry Juth, a one time justice minister for the former. President Yaya Jame. Marie Sok is a business entrepreneur and an independent candidate for the 2021 president election. She has outlined plans to transform Gambia into a, an economic hub if elected in office in 2021. She added that this is a journey for me and for all women in the country and the youths as well. I am standing representing them for better change. We call it Vision 2021 and the revolution for change of all women and youths in the Gambia. Miss Sok was speaking over the weekend during a, a press conference at the Bigelow office. Already I have 10 cardinal pillars which if I'm elected into office, my government will entirely focus on, she said. I want to improve the economy, education, medical health, women and youth empowerment, price regulation, agriculture and infrastructure, crime and jobs creation and the increment of wages in the Gambia. She added that these are the areas we're going to work on if we are elected into office. I can assure that each of these cardinal points has been researched and worked on and some youths are currently working on the manifesto. She went on to say that I am just the captain of the ship. However, we have a lot of followers. I want the youth and women of the country to start speaking out. I want Gambian and African women to stand with me. I want the youth of the country to redouble their unflinching support to my candidature. We need to change the game so that we can eradicate corruption in the country, she said. She's called on political parties in the country to give her support and form alliance with her adding that if she's endorsed by political parties in the country, she will bridge the already divided political landscape and unite the country. She also addressed the issue of homosexuality in the Gambia. She said, it is one of these sensitive topics in society, adding currently, we have zero idea of the kind of tourists coming into our country and zero idea as to what and who is our paedophiles. Our boys and girls are currently going around Senegambia and we know what is happening to them and what they are doing with them. This is one of the issues in the Gambia and I'm so happy that someone's eyes are open to watch out for the young girls and the young women in the country. 
I've spoken about this in a in a past video, how, you know, Gambia seems to be coming a, a, a haven for, for these people to come and take advantage of these people. She also talked about coronavirus. She said that what we have now is coronavirus pandemic, but in the next 10 years, we're going to have a pandemic that will be more than Corona itself, which is going to be ugly. I guess here she's still referring to uh, what is going on in the Senegambia area where people have been taken advantage of, where young girls have been and boys have been taken advantage of by some tourists. She added that some of the factors causing irregular migration in the country is the high rate of unemployment amongst young people saying that as far as the menace is not addressed, youths of the country will continue to use the dangerous routes to, to Europe. And we've seen in past, you know, how many have tried to cross the Atlantic Ocean and, you know, a lot of them have lost their lives. So she's just, you know, wanting to address this issue. Miss Sock is optimistic that if she is elected, she will address the menace by creating more job opportunities. She said it's not about the presidency or the president, but it's about the country itself. Hence, we would all work together in ensuring that the country is developed. It's not going to be about the state house, but how we can fix the country. If we say we're going to develop the country, then we have to work together. Hence, I am ready to work with the government. This is great news. Miss Sok is highlighting some of the problems that exist in the Gambia and it'd be wonderful if she actually wins the election and if she actually carries out all the promises that she is promising the people. So let me know what you think about this, people. Let me know what you think about the idea of a woman being elected for the next presidency of the Gambia. Have a great day and I'll see you all next time.